This 7-Eleven in downtown Spokane uses these high pitch tones to deter loitering and crime on its property. But a city ordinance discussed tonight could change that. Spokane City Council member Kate Burke is proposing a ban on high pitched tone devices. This is just an effort to um, get rid of them and make our downtown experience um, wonderful and great for everyone. The ordinance defines them as mosquitoes, which are devices emitting high frequency sounds only heard by children and young adults. Burke believes they are discriminatory. Now, I'm not saying it's 100% one way or the other, but usually it is uh, targeted towards young people. And so I find that discriminatory. Um, why are we saying that our young people in the downtown area are causing more harm than anybody else? She says the ordinance would also include the system at this downtown 7-Eleven, which can be heard by any age group. Last year, the owners told us they installed the device as a last resort to deter anyone, not just young adults, from loitering on their property. Since then, they say the number of loiterers improved, but if the ordinance to ban these devices passes, that could mean going back to square one. Do you have a suggested alternative? Well, I think first and foremost, um, this isn't a solution, right? This is just a temporary band-aid for a bigger problem. Um, I think there are definitely areas in our community where people have found um, hanging out, you know, a place safe or whatever. Um, they're, they're hanging out there and uh, if people want them not to hang out there, then we can have those discussions. Under the proposed ordinance, first-time violators could be fined $130. The second violation within a one-year period would result in a misdemeanor with a max penalty of 90 days in jail or a $1,000 fine. If the ordinance passes tonight, it will go to a final vote next Monday. Amanda Rowley, CREM2 News.